folks, how's it going? Ultimate Peter here, and we are just sitting in my car. We're about to take off on a little adventure with a program called Wiggle Wi-Fi War Driver, something like that. We're driving Wiggle Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, Wiggle, or War Driving. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you a little uh, screencast of me driving down the road with Wiggle Wi-Fi War Driver on. And you can see that it's going to be an invaluable tool in identifying networks around your neighborhood that are mm, possibly having less encryption or no encryption at all. We might be keeping our eyes out for web networks and or uh, unencrypted networks, open ones. And so you can actually just map these out on the map and in Google Maps and Google Earth. It's going to be pretty freaking rad. All right, here you can see right here I have it installed. Wiggle Wi-Fi War Driving. Let's start that puppy. Wants us to turn on our GPS. So we'll go ahead and do that. And you're also going to... Now have location from GPS. Oh, that's good. So you're also going to want to uh, have your Wi-Fi on. I have my airplane mode on because I don't want to get a call during this recording. So I have, uh, looks like, two... WPA network showing up. I'll just show you around the app for a minute here. We got the list, which is where you probably want to look. I'm at my latitude and longitude, you can see there. I'm going zero miles per hour because I'm just sitting here doing nothing. My altitude and how many satellites I have around are displayed over here on the right. So, my database currently has 147 in it. That's from my drive home from work, which is probably about five miles or something like that. So there's a Frickin' whole bunch of Wi-Fi networks around here. You can look on my map. This will be run number two, and you can see that I've uh, I'm sitting where the guy's little yellow guy is there, and then uh, I'm going to be heading down the road, and we should be picking a whole bunch up. This dashboard here will also tell us I have two visible right now. Um, zero new cell towers. This thing actually picks up cell towers as well. Tells me how long my current run is going. And Warning. Latest Wi-Fi scan completed 90 seconds ago. Restarting Wi-Fi. Run 2. New Wi-Fi 0. New cell 0. From 0 feet 26 p.m. So like I was saying, this is run number 2. I have zero new at the moment because I'm not moving. Uh, this will show me new cell phone towers as well as Wi-Fi networks. And uh, I've gone a total of three miles altogether and picked up 147 different Wi-Fi networks. Now we're going to start moving and pick up some more. Let's do it. So you can actually see the speed I'm going. My latitude and longitudes are changing. Run 4, new Wi-Fi 0, new cell 0, from 1,236.2 feet 8.28 p.m., battery 70%. Gives me a nice little heads up. You can mute that on the right hand side if you want to. All these little sounds you're hearing are new uh, Wi-Fi networks popping up into my database. The Black Antler Network. Got all these little networks popping up. I'm going to jump over to map mode. Uh, my internet is apparently not that fast around here. Maybe if I take off airplane mode, I might get a faster internet. Okay. So if I slowed down to a stop, this map would fill in, and it would show me... Oh, there we go. Now the map's filling in. Now that I got my 4G turned on. Run 101, new Wi-Fi 27, new cell 0, from 1.7 miles, 8.30 p.m., battery 70%. So as you can see, all the way down the road here, new... Wi-Fi networks are popping up. Oh, I see it's because I was... Run 235, new Wi-Fi 129, 
New cell 7. From 6.7 miles, 8.36 p.m. Battery 72%. Apparently, if it automatically connects to a known network, it stops scanning for a while because your Wi-Fi is all taken up. Oh, I see some web. Now we can look at data. You can search through all the data in your database by SSID. Oops. You can do it by uh, address according to the GPS, or you can do it by the AP's BSSID if you'd like. Then you can go ahead and query the local database or reset. So this next part right here is pretty awesome. Um, what you got here is all sorts of export formats, which is really great if you want to either analyze this data or maybe use it in a different program that you've programmed yourself. You can just uh, pick up the exports from here and do all sorts of stuff with them. I'll leave that to your imag imagination. Comes out in comma delimited CSV format as well as a KML file. Uh, KML, I believe you can pretty easily interface with uh, Google Earth. Uh, you can make a backup of your current database. So here we go. This is just a good spreadsheet, uh, not too earth shattering here. It's going to show you the MAC addresses and the uh, uh, what is being used on the Wi Fi hotspots, the time that we found them, uh, the channel, and then uh, this is kind of the signal strength. We've got uh, latitude and longitude and altitude above sea level. Uh, these ones that don't match up are actually the sprint towers as you can see here. And, uh, and the accuracy which should be within three meters except for the sprint towers. So we could uh, do a find for WEP and uh, can just head through there and find all the WEP ones which are easy targets. But anyway I'm gonna jump on to the KML file, which is really cool. If you download uh, Google Earth, and double click on this, this is gonna blow you away. Yeah, navigating Google Earth, blah, blah, blah. So here we go. There is the drive that I took. Right over here and into that commercial area. Some dead spots with not much around these lakes. You can list them all out right here. Just go right on through. And so, if I feel like uh, heading on through and seeing what I can do to some to penetration tests some very weak places. I can just find something with, say, WEP. I'll click right on the link. There it is. Uh, it'll tell me exactly where it is. I can zoom in on it, or I can just, you know, double click. <coughs> Let's fly in here. See what some of these different networks are. Here's one. There's a whole bunch right here. Click on it, it'll bring me up. Oh, this one, capabilities, nothing. So this one's wide open. Now if I wanna hit let's see. So, could even take this guy out here, throw him on the road, and Google Earth will pretty much tell me what this area looks like. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Street view mode. So, hmm, could Linksys be in this building? Quite possibly. Of course, folks, don't forget to jump on over there to ultimatepeter.com where you can check out the latest and greatest tutorials on hacking, penetration testing, and other sorts of awesome technological wonders. That was ultimatepeter.com.